Jing is a really powerful tool that allows you to either get a screenshot of anything on your computer or even better to do a video with a voice overlay. Now Jing is really composed of two parts. There's the Jing program and then there's the screencast.com website where you can store all your videos. So let's start up the Jing program. We'll click on the Windows icon, type in Jing, and here up here we can see it's a Jing program. We'll click on that and it'll load up our yellow sun and move it down here on our on our title bar. So let's say I want to do a PowerPoint. So I'm going to open up my PowerPoint and I want to just capture this part of the screen. So I'm going to click on the crosshairs and click and drag down to the area I want. And I can either do a screenshot and then annotate it, add arrows, add text, do all kinds of things with it. And it's just a, a picture of the screen or I can do a video. So I'm going to do a video and I'm going to turn my audio on. So you notice right here that this is, this is if I mute it or if I turn the audio on. Now at any time I can pause my Jing video and collect myself, figure out what I'm doing. So this pause and resume is a really valuable thing because you only have five minutes on your Jing video. So I'm going to resume and I'm just going to do a real quick video presentation of my PowerPoint. So welcome to Learning Plans. This is for active learning techniques that will get, engage any user. This shows the balancing act and everybody's listening to the radio station WIIFM. What's in it for me? I can talk about lesson plans and learning plans and compare the difference between the two. There, so you get the idea. I can turn the video on and off. I can narrate what I want. I can move my cursor around. And when I'm finished, all I have to do is click on the square. I give it a good name. And I can either send it up to screencast or I can put it on my computer. If you store it on your computer, they're very large files and they're very unwieldy to email. So I recommend using screencast.com. So just upload to screencast. And now that it's up in screencast, there's a link to that video in my clipboard. So if I open up an email, here I have an email to John Smith then I can use control V for paste and this is the link right to my video so I can send that off I'm gonna do it to myself so you can see what it looks like when I get it if I go look in my inbox and I got this spiffy video learning plans video and if I click on it it shows me the video if I turn the audio on. Now at any PowerPoint. So welcome to Learning Plans. This is for active learning techniques that will get, engage any user. This shows the balancing act and everybody's listening to the radio station WIIFM. What's in it for me? I can talk about lesson plans and learning plans. Now if you want to see videos that you've already recorded you can go back to your Jing logo and click on the middle one and that will give you a history of all the videos. So here you can see some that I've done today. Here's the one I've just completed. And down here is a link to screencast.com. Alright, so here's screencast.com. If I log in, And here you can see all the videos that I've created. I can find a video 
and then I can click on the share and this is the link that I would send an email or share with anybody. You can also embed them on a web page if you'd like. So this is screencast.com and this is Jing. Using these two together you can communicate virtually anything that happens on your computer. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a Jing video must be worth millions.